Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am, of course, liking the to-do list mod more and more as I go along because it helps me remember what we need to do. Right, we need to add an oil train, which is fantastic because I would have forgotten. All right, we have a uh, research that just finished. So let's see if, what we can make. Um, worker robot speed? Sure, why not? We really need to get some bots on the go, um, get them moving around. Let's see if we have enough stuff. Did I program? I must have programmed the fuel train to come because there is fuel. All right, I don't even need to ask myself about this. Okay, we have stuff going on. Nice, all this is going to start flowing into these tanks. Uh, and of course, these guys are going to get... They are also uh, under... Have pumps, so that's perfect. Okay, great. Um, do minimize. And let's get our train added here. Where do we have a locomotive? Do we have a locomotive? Maybe not. Do I see one? Hmm. Locomotives, there they are. And no flashies on our inventory. That is unfortunate. Okay, this is done. Let's take the next one then. Now then, let's look in our wagons here for... <laughs> Seriously? Do we not have an engine or two or five? Oh no, the sadness is real. Okay, it's fine. Uh, right, so let us go ahead and just put a radar down in this area to make sure that we can see this later. And then we're just going to go and build a train for this whole situation. Let's take this radar down. There we go, somewhere around here, possibly. Oopsies. Oh, there's a light there. No wonder it wouldn't work. Thank you, nanobots. Okay. Uh, let us see if, yeah, it's all covered now by radar view. Perfect. We'll go ahead and take our train. Oh. <sighs> I swear, when things happen like this, it's like, why? <laughs> It'll be fine, though. No worries. It will be absolutely fine. All right. While that train is going, this is very dangerous to do, by the way. Combat robotics, we don't need that. No energy shields are needed. Let's get lab speed. Not like that is needed, because at the moment, I don't think we have enough to fill the labs anyway. Okay, go to the uh, right. We'll go straight here. Keep moving along, going back to the main base with our train. And then we'll have to kind of like look around the base and see what needs doing next. All right, in here we want to go up. Wow. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> okay, so uh, I know that on our to do list is. Um, to get some iron moving. Let's park this in a proper parking spot. There we go. Uh, and if we need to load it, we'll move it down. But for now, it should be okay. I'm just like looking, as I was traveling on the train, I'm looking at this vast, vast array of stations and tracks. And I'm like, wow, I built all that. <laughs> I actually did. I'm like, whoa, how did that happen? Ooh, 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 this is... um. This is very, very, very not good. Okay, looks like these guys are getting some. This is our one to go for concrete. Yeah. Definitely not a lot. My goal here, and I think we may need to start working on this particular goal today, uh, is to get copper plates transferred from the furnace down there, but I think we don't have enough. I really think that there is not near enough uh, plates being made here. These guys, oh, actually, this they we might have enough because this station is full. The signal is green, so we could put another uh, train coming in here. This train has, oh, that's right. It can't be full because these guys are, I think I set it to the wrong number. Yeah. 18k, huh? You know what I need? I need stack inserters. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just because I don't have stack inserters or loaders there. Um, okay, so that's something that needs to be done. 
Uh, we could grab a bunch of either stack inserters or loaders. I'm wondering if we should just do loaders. We don't even need six of these. We just need one loader into the train. I think possibly. Uh, though, I guess the speed of loading of the train would be affected if we just had one box full. We want more than one box, I believe. So we'll have to consider that. Um, should we build a loader array? No, that's a good question. Uh, I think we'll build one after we get robots going, which we do not have at the moment. How is this? What's working here? What's not working? Wow. We have full, um, wowie. Wow. Okay. We have all these labs working at full speed here. Uh, and we're full. We have not enough labs, essentially. All right, we need one, two, three, four, five labs more. Okay, we just need speed beacons for this. Did I? I don't think I have um, effect transmission. Did I say we needed five? There's five. Let's see if that's enough. I completely forgot already. Yes, I have high skill in forgetting. It's a skill that I didn't have to work very hard on, but I have it nonetheless. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I think effect transmission is either high tech or production science. I can't remember. Where is it? Let's find it. Beacons. Yeah, it's uh, high tech. Okay. So for high tech science, we, we need stuff. We're going to need electric engines, is it? No, batteries. It's the other one. This one needs electric engines and furnaces, and this one needs uh, batteries. So we have all of these things. We don't have the batteries made yet, but we could make them. We could definitely make them. I wonder if we should make them here in the factory, because we don't actually need a, a ton of them. That That is one thing that is... Um, kind of a good thing. We don't need millions of them, so I don't know if it's worth outposting batteries. Um, if we outpost batteries, I think we need... Do we need copper and iron? I think we do. Um, let's check real quick. There they are. They changed the icon for these. Yeah, and we need sulfuric acid. So we're going to have copper and iron here already. All we would have to do is import sulfuric acid. Uh, if we made them elsewhere, we'd have to import all three things. Um, we do have blue chips being made already, which is nice. Oh, but we need to get huh, these things imported, especially the iron. The iron is absolutely required. Hmm. Kind of tempted to import blue chips here. Um, why don't we just do that? Let's just do that. Let's grab this thing here. And I'm choosing this red station on purpose. Let's just go here like this. There we go. Okay, I think we can put it here. When I need to replace all these inserters as well. Though we're not actually using enough to war warrant this. And especially since these are being combined into two belts instead of four. We don't technically need um, all of those being stack inserters. They're okay being regular fast inserters. I think we need track. Let's get the railroad track going. We'll put the rest in the train once we're done. Okay, that can go away. Ah, yes. Now we have an issue. Slight issue. Slight. Um, okay, let's grab this. Copy that. And then we'll get rid of this altogether. Oh my god, the amount of green circuits in my inventory now. <laughs> Not ideal. Oopsies. I need to press F to vacuum them up. Okay. There we are. All right. Fine. Now then, um, let's grab this rail line. Go that away. And this is going to be <laughs> not ideal. Not exactly ideal. 
So what we can do is curve it here and then take it the other way like that, I think, would be fine. Let's do that instead. Thank you, bots. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. And these guys can instead be here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, not quite enough. So let's just do this here like that, 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 and that. Okay, cool. And again, this one goes all the way here. Whoopsies. Oh. There we are. Okay, we we got some serious snaking happening here. Genuine spaghetti. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we can put these other lines kind of... We could put them here, actually, coming down this way. Or we could put them to the side. At some point, we're going to have to think about uh, how far this goes over. Now I'm keeping these things in a particular order. Like these, this parking lot, I only want it to serve these intermediate products. I'm going to have a separate parking lot for the other things like the iron, because we might have two or three iron trains coming instead of just one. Okay, I wanna grab, oh, did we not make the train yet? We didn't. See, my memory works. It's just like on a, a 10 minute delay. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. All right. Um, lab research speed is done. I think it's just because this game has so much in the way of things to distract us. So, all right, let's give this that to there. Stone can go here. That way we'll empty out our inventory a little bit better. I'll just give these circuits over to places that want them and need them and would cherish them forever. Okay, go away. And this one also can go away. So we have replacements in our blueprint folder. Explosives are done. Great. We're going to need rocket shooting speed. So we're going to get rocketry next. All right. And here we have nanobots. Hello, nanobots. And I'll, you know what, I'll take some of these things and put them in the train. I'm just going to grab these guys. And I'm going to put some of that track in the train too. And the nanobots. Okay, there we go. Shove all those in. And the track can go here. Keep like one thing of track on me. Rocketry is finished. Okay, good. Research. Now then. We want this to be, oh, how fun. Look what we did. <laughs> we we didn't connect the combinator. Oh, I think it's because we had to place these down by hand. That's why, okay. Right, I was like, why the heck would we do this? But it's just easy to copy and paste now, just walking up the line. This is going to be base BC drop off, blue circuits. Um, and we'll mark it blue and I still need to make the train. Okay, good, 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 good. Now then, we could make two trains while we're at it. Might as well. Now then, how far can this travel? That works there, but that would not work there. No. Okay, that's fine. Okay, get the next one. It's all good. All righty. And then here we can go down there. I feel fairly okay walking over these tracks because I know that there aren't that many trains that would go this way, though I could be mistaken. 
Okay, Blue Circuit train station has been set up. Let's put these guys in. There we are. Yay. Light is good. Okay, good. All right, so this is ready. We need to set up the oil train. Now, one thing that we do not have here is fueling for the trains. And I think I need to bring that over from the coal train here. Somebody asked me uh, in the comments, why am I still fueling the steam engines with coal when I could be using solid fuel? Um, solid fuel isn't a better fuel. It is a different fuel. And right now I have mountains of coal and I have no solid fuel because we are still using um, where we need the petroleum. And right now we do not have enough petroleum. If we go down and look at this area here, we just don't have enough. See how much not enough we have? There, there it is. Um, so yeah, this, this train will be sitting here probably forever. Uh, we just don't have enough oil. And that's what we're aiming to fix by hopefully delivering some of that oil from the new outpost. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, it's interesting the way some uh, people get an impression. And I think I had that impression too when I first started playing the game. It's like, oh yeah, you have to use the best, the newest thing. Uh, you don't. Uh, and that's very apparent in the case of um, things like electric furnaces versus steel furnaces. Now, if I were playing a regular game, these guys would be already upgraded to steel furnaces, but they would not be upgraded to electric until I could afford the modules, because there's absolutely no reason to convert them at all. Um, if you have the coal, it's a very uh, valid fuel source, so you might as well use it. Okay, rocket shooting speed two is there. And it's kind of the same with fuel. I, I saw a couple of people in the comments like, oh yeah, nuclear fuel for trains. Why? <laughs> I, I have zero desire for that to happen. So it's probably not going to happen for a very long time. If ever, I really don't like that fast of a trains because they run you over. And, and it's also problematic when I want to navigate on the train system. Um, they run into me faster anyway. So um, I don't know if we'll ever get to that. Uh, not because... I don't like, well, it's because I don't like it, but it's, it's not, um, it is no loss of efficiency. Not really. Not when we have trains waiting at stations. If they're waiting, that means that the speed of getting to the stations is not a problem. So, um, consider when you, when you're upgrading or you think you're upgrading, uh, think about it, um, in a different way because it may not be an upgrade. Oh my god, there's like so much noise in my house right now. I, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, right. It's just distracting me. I need to get some fuel. I think we have some coal or something in. Oh yeah, we have, we've got lots of wood. So we'll use wood for fueling for now. And um, let's just put a couple of trains on the tracks. We want to get an oil train set up first. Okay, there we go. You can have this. You're going to be an oil train color black black as night black as crude oil and you know what i think i'm going to set up two trains because why not there's no reason not to we might as well set them up uh and i'll get some more fuel as well not that nope this one thank you oh, that was cool that you could switch them different tracks cool all right uh get a couple of uh things of wood here and we'll need a blue circuit train as well this is just going to be our first group of trains going. Okay, we're going to copy the stations and everything from this train. We're going to say from, let's see, oil one. No, this is going to be oil two pickup, inventory full. And I want you to go to, um, is it refinery? No, it's not. I have forgotten the name of the, uh, the station. I have to go check. Let's go check. Let's look. This one is called... Oh, it's just oil one drop off. Right. I wonder if I should change the name of that. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just call it oil one drop off. I would have called it maybe refinery one drop off if I was thinking about it now because oil one is also um, a crude oil station. So oil one drop off. Yeah, see oil one pickup is right there. All right, so we're going to uh, inventory empty to leave that station. 
Okay, perfect. Let's copy and paste and set them on their way. Go. So far, they're not complaining. Whoopsies. Go to automatic, please. Go, go, go. Boom. Oh, wow. There aren't any signals on this entire stretch. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to fix that just slightly. All right, let's get that one going. And we need... Oh, I didn't signal this either. That's important to do. Get this one going here. That one there. This one needs to be just removed, I think. So that we have chain signals so these don't get blocked. Do not want that blocked. Uh, I think we'll just add a couple of signals here. It's not really necessary to have a whole bunch because we're going to have to probably remove them later. Notice I'm not walking on the tracks. I'm walking between them. <clears throat> Good advice on how to not get hit by a train. Right. Um, wow, this is getting very, very scarce here. This coal. Okay, so we did this on our to-do list. We added the oil train. Now, add train stations at base for copper and iron plates. I think that's probably necessary. But I want to add the train for blue circuits first, because otherwise we'll forget about it, because I did not add it to our list of things. There we go. This is going to be a very funky train to fill, that's for sure. Because blue circuits stack so darn high. Okay, wood. Take yourself. Take the wood. And you're going to be a blue train. Okay. I want you to... So first of all, we're going to say this is base uh, blue circuit drop-off and inventory empty, because that's one we want to leave. Uh, but then it's going to go to blue circuit uh, pickup. There we are. Inventory full. And go. Have a nice time. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Stop. Stop. Hold on. I forgot to mark the car. Go wagons. Yay. Spam click. I really want that mod. I've forgotten what it's called. <laughs> I don't know if it's called autofill or something like that. I always forget to get it before I re start recording. And then, you know, then by the time I'm end ending recording, I've forgotten that I need to do this. And so there's a lot of forgetfulness involved. But that's okay. All right, go. Have a nice day, train. This is going to be your life. Woohoo. Okay, train is gone. Oopsies. Oopsies. Oh. Yeah, iron is looking pretty bad. My my goal here, and I guess I should just talk about this a little bit. My goal is to we want to get rid of these altogether. Because I want to save this iron patch specifically only for concrete. I don't really want to import iron ore until we absolutely have to. So uh, getting iron in would be pretty good. Pretty amazing, I think. It would be useful, helpful, all those lovely things. I think what I want to do also is make some dump chests for the moment. Here-ish. And I'm going to dump things that I don't need. Put all those things in that are kind of useless to us. Why do we have walls? Oh, it was because I was deconstructing those walls. I'm like, wow, where the heck did they come from? <laughs> like, who wants walls in this playthrough? No, nobody. It's not a thing. Oops, well, let's make 80. Uh, okay, I think that should be fine. But I think we need to start, well... <sighs> Sigh. Okay, we need to get iron in. Let's figure out how to do that first. I think we want to have iron kind of coming in over here. That would be an okay thing for it to have just stations coming in over here. I don't know if we want to have eight lanes or four lanes. Hmm. Science. Let's see. Let's let's look uh, at this. Let's look at science. So high tech science packs require 15 iron and 47 copper. Now, a lot of that copper is going to be in the form of green circuits because look at how many processing units we need. And each of those processing units requires 20 green circuits. 
yeah, it's 20. I, I couldn't remember if it was 20 or 25. Uh, production science requires 10 iron plates each. These are 15 iron plates, so it's not a heck of a lot of iron. Look at the military, 49 iron plates per each. This is 25, five, and two. So these are more heavily weighted in, in terms of oil, um, I think. Of course, we have steel too. I think steel we should be making at a uh, furnace or somewhere. Let's see, do we have one nearby here? No, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> That would be too easy. Oh, oh, but we have this one here. Hello. Do we have two furnaces next to each other? Those are not terribly far, but they're nowhere near iron. Here's an iron ore of 10 million. Here we have 36 million, which is not too bad. And uh, 2.2. And we have... Oh, hello. I think I want to make a little bitty... We could either do it with belts or we could do it with a, a short, tiny little train between these two things. That might actually be fun if we did like a little bitty train taking from iron to steel making place. That could be interesting. Um, and it's right next to this iron ore plant. Um, do we have a better candidate at all? Wow, I just don't even see any more iron. That one looks okay. Oh, it's 138 million over here. So that's quite close anyway to these guys. I think this is an ideal place to have steel being made. Uh, possibly extra iron as well. If the steel builds up, we can have iron going out as well. And we could use priority um, splitting for that to happen. Maybe we should try to make a system like that just to see how it works and uh, kind of show off how it works, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, what do we got? Rocket shooting speed. Yo, we're ready. Uh, but we're not going to get to the rocket uh, anytime soon. I uh, When I launch a rocket, usually I feel like it's kind of like the end of the game. So we're trying not to get there that fast. Does this connect? No, I guess these all kind of are necessary. All right, we're fine. So I think we decided on four lanes of iron. That was this entire <laughs> thing, <laughs> how that happened. All right, we want some kind of an unloading station here for four. Oh, this is perfect. We just need to, well, you know what? We could, we could even use the other stations that we have um, dee -dee 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 here. Just copy two of these stations uh, or more importantly, copy the green circuit station. That's really what we need here. We don't need the others specifically much. Okay. And we'll, hmm. Okay, let me just grab a little bit more than necessary here. Like that, maybe. Okay, and then we're going to edit this thing. I just kind of get rid of some of these belts on the right. Would be nice to have like a bigger paintbrush to... Or uh, eraser, whatever you want to call it. To get rid of some of these things. Getting rid of all these little deals. Can we zoom in on this? No, we can't. We, that would be another nice thing to be able to zoom in on a, uh, a blueprint that you're editing. Okay, I think this is what we want. Go away that. And get rid of these other little lamps here. We don't need those at all. Okay, cool. And we didn't put one here. Where did the other lamp go? I know I put one. Anyway. It's gone. Alas. Oh, I missed a couple of belts. Let's take those off. Okay, cool. Don't want to have like some miscellaneous stuff hanging around. Uh, okay, so this is going to be its own parking space. So what I want to do is we want to make sure that we can fit a parking area in here. So first thing we need to do is do rails in here. Okay, that is probably good. Okay, we need to get rid of this and this. Oopsies. Get back here. There we go. Okay, cool. These do not ever have to connect, so that's just fine the way it is. Um, let's get rid of this. We don't need that there. We're kind of okay with this. I think we want to have maybe a chain signal here. Yep. Okay. Good. 
looking good now this is going to lead to a parking lot let's go ahead and look at our sheaf of parking lots this is the correct one i think ish maybe uh we need to ha is that how the other one is set up yeah it is it's got a 90 degree bend there we go and parking lot again is here there we go so this one may may want to even move it it's it should be okay though so these stations are actually having to move quite a bit over this way hmm i was hoping it would slot in closer here well we can we can change this i think we need to change this a different into a different thing let's just get rid of all of this how about that okay don't want to delete too much from the bottom there that would be inconvenient all right this is not good take it all take it away no no <laughs> come on nanobots do my bidding all right uh electric energy distribution yeah substations would be awesome to have what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to slot that parking lot in first and then we'll build the tracks for those guys in a second. Okay. So we want to build this parking lot. You know what, what, what we can do is do two rails in right here as close as possible. I think that's probably the easiest way to do this. There we go right here right at the edge there okay and then the next one can be get rid of these signals real quick and do the next one can almost even be overlapping oh it can be overlapping look at that yeah i think that's going to be okay if it overlaps we're just going to have major major stuffs going on here all right, this one's got to go. That's fine. This is okay-ish. All right, and I think that'll work for us. And then this guy. Let's take this like that and like that. And then we'll have our parking spots go here. Yes, and life will be slightly better, I hope. We do need to get more um, tracks though. I feel a distinct lack of tracks on us. So while those are getting built by the nanobots, we can go ahead and um, do other things. Also, a couple of people have asked me, why don't I use console commands for the regular bots? Uh, I don't want to. To me, that would be kind of cheaty. Um, I want to, to get those normally, but we're using nanobots, which we're paying for. Everyone is paid for with green circuits and stuff. And so, I don't know, to me, that seems logical. It might not be to you. I don't know. But um, I just suffice it to say, I have heard the suggestion, but I'm not going to use it. All right. I needed something. Railroad tracks. There we go. But of course, everyone has their own thoughts and opinions about what is, you know, acceptable to use, what they want to do in their games. So I'm not um, in any way judging. Uh, I'm just saying that this is the way I prefer to play it. There we go. And the bots put stuff down. Yeah, some people I know already, they don't like nanobots. Um, and that's okay, too. You don't have to play with them. Let's see, this one is there. I really wish it would show like the distance of trains with that one, with the first signal. Like when I put another signal down, I wish it would show from the first signal how, how many cars would fit. That would be so helpful. Okay, now then let's finally put our iron station down. Let's put this over here. Um, we're going to do a test track here. Let's just see. 
the minimum distance that this can go is there. Okay, and that actually fits in perfectly. Look at that. Cool. Put in a second one here for copper. There we go. That's part of the cool thing about Factorio is that it has so many options and none of them are right or wrong. It's just, we just have a lot of them, which is cool. Okay, cool. So there we go. Oopsies. Right. We'll come down here and get all these things sorted out. We're going to have to rename the stations real quick. Ah, darn it. Had a little bit of an error there. It's not too bad though. We can always fix it by adding again. Now then, we need to change these stations. Um, we're going to call this base iron drop off. Oopsies. It's going to be, what is it, blue green? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then this is going to be base copper drop off. That's going to be orange, which is red with a bit of green in it. Okay. Okay, cool. We have these two things settled. Now, um, unfortunately, they're coming in right where our starter base is. So we're going to have to probably recycle this entire starter base. But I just looked over at the time and it's getting quite late. So um, unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this episode. We've gotten a lot done. I'm really proud of this. So um, next time we'll continue. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.